Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper at RadioPreppers.com and it's a uh, beautiful day today. I really had to get out. <laughs> so it was a good opportunity to uh, talk to you about the uh, amateur radio band uh, 80 meter. The 80 meter band and uh, NVIS for prepping. What is NVIS? Uh, NVIS is Near Vertical Incidence Skywave. It sounds complicated, but it's really not. Um, it means that uh, you are going to send your signal straight up. And to do that, you're going to use a horizontal antenna, since the uh, signal is uh, propagated uh, perpendicular to, uh, to the wire. So uh, you string a long wire horizontally and that will send your signal straight up and it will rain down all around you up to even a thousand miles so it can go uh, pretty far uh, it's great for regional communication which is the most interesting range for prepping so that's why it's important to uh, to use those frequencies and uh, NVIS works under 10 megahertz the most uh, common bands uh, used for NVIS are the uh, 40 meter band, 7 MHz, 60 meter band, 5 MHz, and the 80 meter band, 3.5 uh, MHz. So today we're going to test the uh, 80 meter band and I'm going to set up my wire on uh, the bridge over there horizontally. Uh, it's over water so it's a good ground. The wire is 135 foot long and I'm using the uh, Valley Tuner. Uh, we'll use uh, Whisper which is a, uh, a great program to see how your antenna is performing. And uh, we'll see if we can get uh, regional uh, reports. I'll add that uh, I wasn't very interested in the 80 meter band before because the antenna is so long. Uh, but only recently I've tried, actually tried, to put up a uh, 135 uh, foot antenna, a Windom, and uh, I also tested the uh, W3EDP, which gave me uh, excellent results. And uh, it's been uh, really uh, eye-opening, uh, the way you can cover uh, a few hundred miles with a, a, a long horizontal antenna. I thought it would be a bigger problem that it actually is because of course you're not stringing up the antenna vertically so it's much easier to uh, to string it horizontally it's not so much a problem so uh, the 80 meter band in my opinion now is, uh, is very uh, a very important band for prepping because it gives you a regional range without too much trouble so uh, Let's do it. I'm installing my antenna, a 135 foot wire over this bridge attached to the ramp. So the antenna is in place and uh, it spans the whole bridge. I have the uh, Sota Beams Valley Tuner and a 4 meter counterpoise which is uh, 0.05 wavelength for 80 meters. Looks like uh, this one is almost uh, about to sink. <laughs> Crazy. Setting up the uh, SWR might not be very easy but I'll give it a shot. 2.49 2.4, not bad, 2.2, 2.0. Looks like we have a 2.0, not great, but it will do. I'm actually going to uh, tune for 3.5926, which is the uh, whisper frequency.
uh, about 2.1 2.2 not very good maybe my wire is too long or I'm gonna have to check that out anyway it will work for today so here's my uh, whole setup with the uh, laptop the KX2 the 18650 cells and again the uh, ZLP Mini Pro SC interface you probably won't see it but uh, it's waiting to start and uh, it should be transmitting pretty soon I should have uh, brought a key and a microphone but I just wanted to experiment and see uh, what the pattern would be uh, at this location I was curious about uh, extending that wire over the water uh, to see if that would be of any help of course my counterpoise is not in the water so I'm not sure but um, it's a good ground so now it's receiving and it should be transmitting any second I hope okay it says uh, TXing and the interface LED turned red and uh, the KX2 is transmitting but I have a high SWR more than 3 here ooh that's not very good not good at all I'm go going to have to do something about that power is about 4 watts uh, and the temperature is climbing for the final transistor to uh, 49 degrees so 50 degrees uh, I hope it won't last too long well the problem is that uh, the SWR is not the same whether I extend the uh, coax cable or not so I added the uh, Elecraft T1 tuner which of course is not uh, the way it's supposed to work with the Valley tuner uh, now that's two tuners <laughs> that's uh, quite a bit of losses probably but at least it will protect uh, my expensive radio and now we are back to receiving mode and I will let the uh, whisper program transmit a couple more times before uh, calling it a day well the result is exactly what I expected 80 meters is like a regional telephone and uh, you can see it here um, the range is about a few hundred kilometers so it's extremely useful for uh, regional communications like I said uh, no surprise here um, now uh, you don't see any reports from France but uh, well I won't get into politics on this <laughs> channel but uh, France is not a good country to live in and uh, yeah, we have good food, uh, wine and cheese, but uh, anyway, I'll leave it at that. But um, I also wanted to uh, see the difference between uh, this outdoor antenna and my Wyndham at home. So I'm sending uh, whisper spots right now. And uh, next uh, we look at the uh, new screenshot, see the difference. The Wyndham shows a similar pattern, although the antenna is oriented uh, about 90 degrees from the one I used outside uh, on the bridge. So uh, similar results, but more spots. So it tells me that uh, my Wyndham is more efficient than the uh, wire on the bridge. Uh, not surprising because it's a little bit higher. It's probably at about 20 feet in height. Uh, the bridge antenna was uh, lower than that, probably only half, and um, I thought the ground would uh, give better results, but uh, it worked uh, in both cases anyway, so. And uh, that's about it, so uh, give 80 meters a try. It, it's, worth, uh, it's worth it, really. Uh, it's not for DX, uh, long distance communications, but uh, when it comes to uh, regional comms, that's what you want to use. Um, 80 meter uh, at night or in the evening and 40 meter during the day. 
Uh, this test was during the day, around noon, uh, before noon and after noon. So it could have been better if I uh, did it at night, but uh, it shows that uh, 80 meters is uh, pretty reliable and uh, definitely worth uh, trying. That's it for today. Have a good one.